Freeform is Apple's new productivity app. This is an infinite canvas drawing and mapping app. At the time of recording and releasing this, it is currently in beta for iOS and iPadOS 16.2 alongside macOS. Freeform is an infinite canvas sketching app. You can use this to map out projects, take notes, or just draw. And I love these kinds of apps because there's no limit. There's no opinion on how you can use them. They're just like, hey, here's a bunch of tools. Go for it. And I really, really like that kind of stuff. This is Freeform. So this is the main page. When you open up Freeform, this is where you see all of your boards. There's a few bins where all the different uh, boards can be filtered into. Uh, but the main thing is everything lives here. There's a few sorting options as well pretty typical for an Apple app on an iPad. So we'll hit the uh, new board button here. And when it opens up, you'll notice a few different things. You have your tools all at the top. There's also a uh, dot grid system on here. Now, what's kind of cool is you can come over here to the document properties menu. You can do all the typical things, rename, duplicate, favorite, even find in here. You can turn off the grid if you want or you can uh, export as PDF and print as well. I'm gonna turn on the grid for this because I cannot draw to save my life. I'm, I'm terrible at drawing and my handwriting is horrible. Uh, so just kind of bear with me for this video. What I wanna do is I wanna map out a bunch of projects that I'm personally working on right now and all the different parts that I wanna do. I think this will be a good example to kind of show uh, all the different abilities that Freeform can do. So these are all your tools up here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this middle option right here, and this is shapes. Now, there are a ton of different options in here. So there's basic shapes like squares and arrows and triangles and circles and like lines and stuff that you can edit. There's geometry, objects, animals, nature, food, and these scroll down too. Like this isn't just, you know, side to side. Symbols, education, arts, science, people, places, activities, transportation, work, and ornaments. There's a lot in here. So um, I'm mostly going to, for this video, probably just stick with the basic stuff, the basic shapes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the square. And to do that, you can just tap on it, edit, insert. If you wanna edit any of this, you can just tap on it. You can move it around. You can grab any of the blue marks and make it bigger. If you grab the corners, you can do height and width adjust. So we'll keep it a square right there. You can come in here and do a few different things. So we can hit this blue icon right here and we can change the color. Let's go ahead and change it to orange. Um, you can change the kind of the outline of it if you want. So if you want to like give it like a nice thick solid outline, you can. You could do dotted more square dots and then kind of like a, a pencil looking like it kind of fades almost. I'm just going to turn that off. I don't, I don't need any of that. And then over here, you can, uh, you know, control the text and stuff that if you want to put some text in there. Now, speaking of text, if you want to put that in there, right here is the text box option. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in there. And just like it says right there, you can double tap to enter text. So we're going to call this now we can tap on that text just like we did with the object and we can edit it. So we can change the color. We change the, you know, we can make it bold, italicize, underline. I'm gonna leave it bold. We're gonna, you know, change the alignment. Uh, you can add bullet points, numbers, dashes, increase the indent. So you have like full outlining tools here and you can change the font as well. I'm gonna just change it to JetBrains Mono, one of my favorite fonts. Okay, so we kind of have our main section right here. Let's go ahead and add some stuff to it. Now, one thing I want is I just want a temporary space that I can like just dump things in really quick while I'm thinking about it. So I'm gonna use this second icon right here and this creates kind of like a post-it note or a sticky almost. And again, you can drag it to make it any size. You can tap on it to change the color if you want. Um, we're just gonna leave it yellow. And I'm just gonna put, list some projects I'm working on. So. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in the, you know, some projects and stuff I'm working on. Again, we can move this around. I'll leave this kind of attached to our main node here. Um, we can go in here and edit the text. I'm gonna change the alignment so it aligns to the left. And then uh, we will go ahead and align it to the top. 
And we could technically just add bullets, but I put asterisk in there already just because that's a force of habit for me because I write markdown, but there are bulleted options in there. So let's go ahead and start breaking out these projects I'm working on. Let's go back into shapes, grab an arrow, and kind of break these out. So uh, one thing I don't really care for is the arrows are super thin by default. So we're gonna come in here and we are going to make these arrows five points so they're just a bit thicker. You can also change the types in here and you can change like if you want it to have a, a start arrow and an end arrow so you can turn all those off if you want so if you want the start and end points to be a little different all the shapes can be customized in different ways so be sure to take a look at those so i'm gonna go ahead and add a circle here for a project we're gonna pull this one out a little bit Instead of doing a text box this time, I'm gonna use the Apple Pencil because we're on the iPad, might as well, it's already in my hand. So select the Apple Pencil tool. And while I could just handwrite stuff, like I said, my handwriting's bad. So I'm gonna select this automatic tool right here. And this will give us the ability to do scribble. So I can do, there we go. So now we have that, we can drag that text box to be there, we can make it bigger. So now we have type text. So now we have all these projects starting to break out. Now I wanna kind of dive into this a little bit more. So I'm gonna add another arrow. Now I could just do it right here from the menu, but we already have one. So what I can do is I can just select it and then hit the duplicate button. Kind of come over here, rearrange it. We're gonna select a squibble for this. Let's change the color. So now we're kind of starting to see how these can kind of break out, how you can kind of map things out, how, what you can kind of diagram things out with. Now, this is great for diagramming stuff, but what if you wanted to kind of do more hand-drawn stuff? Like what if you didn't want to like, you actually could draw shapes? Well, obviously we could just use the Apple Pencil and we could just draw arrows, circle. Now, obviously, this looks so much better than that because my handwriting's atrocious, but we can kind of start to make this look a little bit more like that. We can use this fill tool right here and we can kind of like draw a circle around that. Again, I'm not very good at handwriting and drawing. So obviously I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and guess you all could probably make this look a lot better, but you kind of get the, the gist. Like you have all your Apple Pencil tools down here. Now what's interesting is this does not have all the tools Notes has. So it's missing stuff like the ruler and the fountain pen, which is kind of a bummer. I do hope to see that added. It's just the stuff you see here. There's no side scrolling like there is in Notes. The other thing that's not here that Notes has is the ability to draw a shape hold and it become a perfect shape. So if I draw a circle here, and if I was to hold in notes, that would become a perfect circle. When I release, it does nothing in freeform. Kind of a bummer. Now you can kind of see we've started to get to the edge of freeform here. Um, what we could do, and what's really interesting about freeform is it's an infinite canvas app. So I can scroll out and you see how we have an edge right here, there's gray. I'm gonna let go and it fills in. So being an infant canvas app, it means you can just keep going forever. There is no edge to this document. That's really cool. And that's what I like about these kinds of apps is they're not limiting in any way. Like you can just keep going forever. With the pencil tools, one thing that's interesting is you can tap on them to get different options. So you can change like the thickness of the pen and the pencil and the opacity. Same thing with the crown opacity here with the fill tool. But with the eraser tool, you get different eraser sizes, but also object erase. So if I select object erase and I select the circle, it goes away. I don't have to trace it around. And you also have your uh, color tools as well over here. So you can select that. You can, you know, have all the different options. You can, you know, really kind of get super granular with that if you want. So we've mapped out these kind of projects. I've showed you shapes. I've showed you how you can edit them. One other tool that you have access to in Freeform is the uh, Photos tool. So we can select this and this gives us a few different options. We can embed photos or videos right from the Photos app. We can take a photo of something using the camera. We can scan something. We can add a link or we can insert from files. I'm gonna go ahead and select insert from files here. 
So what we could do is we can come over here and select any of these documents. I'm gonna select this weekly planner I made years ago or a couple years ago. And it can be embedded right in a freeform document. And this was a template I was using in GoodNotes, but I can just use the Apple Pencil stuff, select this and start filling it out. So right now it's Tuesday at 8 a.m. So film freeform. I didn't change the thickness, but whatever, that's okay. And you know, you can kind of come in here, do, do whatever you want. And so you can insert images, PDF documents, um, videos, anything you really want, you can edit in here. And it scales really nicely too. So we can grab the corners. Um, the one thing is if you write on it, obviously your drawings do not scale with it. So you kind of would have to like do that. So the other thing you can do is you can embed a link. So you can select that option and just type out a link if you want. So I could type out, uh, let's see here, I insert it and this will just get a link to my website and it'll post it right there. Now it does the rich thumbnail like in notes and in mail, which is really nice. It's so much better than just like seeing like HTTPS, www dot, like all that stuff. Now, if you want to do anything with it, you could tap on it. There's a few different options. You can view the link and edit the link right there. Um, you can refresh it. So if you want to like refresh the thumbnail preview, you can. There's the duplicate, more option, all that stuff. But this eye icon right here, that will take you right to the website. So you can embed links like that, but you can also, if you just have them on your clipboard already, you can just tap anywhere, select paste, and it'll embed a link. And this one is to one of my YouTube videos right here. So again, it pulls the thumbnail from the YouTube video, has the title of the video right there, even has the YouTube short URL right there. So we, we can just tap on this view and it'll take me right to that. Pretty cool. Now, when you're all done with the document, there's a few different options. Obviously, you can just leave it in free form, but you can come over here and select export as PDF or print the document. Um, I do not have a printer, so I'm going to select export as PDF. Give us a few options. I'm going to select save to files, the temp folder, just hit save and boom. Now we have a PDF of our document here. Freeform uses the new collaboration feature so you can share a document with other people and work on it together in real time, which is really cool. So, so if I'm making changes, the person on the other end can see my changes and vice versa. I'm going to cover more of the collaboration stuff when the final version ships. Uh, but right now, if you do turn it on, it can support up to 32 people in real time. And if you don't need the real time syncing and seeing uh, those changes, it can have up to 100 people in a document. That's awesome. Like syncing is not an easy thing in technology. And that's a lot of people. Let me know what you guys think of Freeform in the comments below and what you would use it for. Like this is one of those apps, like I said, it can be used for so many different things. I'm curious to hear from you all what you would use it for. Video, if you like it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day.